Every time I lay my head at night, I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt before. You hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I have a new article <laughs> for you guys. Here we go. Um, Hyundai Kia find 107. 137 million for delaying u.s engine failure recalls all right let me scroll down honda and kia Hyun hyundai sorry about it hyundai and kia must pay 137 million in fines and safety improvement because they move too slowly to recall over 1 million vehicles with engine that can fail the national highway traffic safety administration announced the penalties on friday they resolved a three-year government probe into the company behaviors behavior uh, involving recall of multiple model dating to the 2011 model year it's critical that manufacturers appropriately recognize the urgency of their safety recall responsibility and provide timely and candid information to the agency about all safety issues and HTSA De Deputy Administrator James Owen said in a statement Hyundai will pay 54 million and invest 40 million to improve safety operation on the agreement reached with the agency the company must build a field test and inspection laboratory in the u.s and put new computer system in place to analyze data to identify safe safety issues another 64 million in penalties will be different Deferred as long as the Korean auto market meets safety condition, and HTSA said in a prepared statement. Kia, which is affiliated with Hyundai, must pay 27 million and invest 16 million on safety performance measure. Another 27 million payment will be deferred as long as Kia behaves. Kia will set up a U.S. safety office headed by a chief safety officer. Both companies will have to hire an independent third-party auditor to review the safety practice and then commits committed to organizational improvement to identify and investigate potential U.S. safety issues. We value a collaborative and corporate cooperative relationship with the US Department of Transition on of Transportation and NHTSA and will continue to work closely with agency to proactively identify and address potential safety safety issue Brian Laut Hyundai chief safety officer said in a prepared statement the safe the u.s safety agency opened its probe in 2017 after hyundai recalls about 470,000 vehicles in september of 2015 because debris from manufacturing could restrict oil flow to connecting rod bearing that could make the bearing wear out and fail potentially causing the four cylinder motors to four cylinder engine to stall or catch fire the repair was an expensive engine block replacement wow i did not even notice it caused the four cylinder engine to stall and catch fire now that is very dangerous right there oh my all right nhtsa said in investigation documents that hyundai limited 
in the recall to engine made before April of 2012 saying it solved the manufacturing problem after that. In addition, Kia didn't recall its car and SUVs with the same 2.4 liter and 2 liter uh, engine. Uh, con contending they were made on a different assembly line at a plant in Alabama. But 18 months after the 2015 recall, both aftermarket announced recalls of 1.2 million more vehicles for the same problem, including including models the aftermarket originally said weren't affected. And HTSA said uh, when it's when it opened the their investigation engine failures and fire problems with hyundai's and kia's have plagued the company for more than five years affecting the owners of more than eight million vehicles in june of 2018 an htsa opened two more investigation of the off of the auto market that have yet to be resolved the agency said it had owners complain of more than 3,100 fires, 103 injuries, and one death. It granted a petition seeking the probe filed by the nonprofit center Auto Safety, a consumer advocate group. Jason Levine excluded exclusive director of the center said they potential nh tsa seeking an investigation because no one seems to be listening to complaints from hyundai's and kia owners only time will tell if you sort of differ pe penalty and mandated invest investments in safety operation will actually detect similar behavior in the future by these or other manufacturers Levine said the new investigation one for Hyundai and the other for Kia covered non-crash fire in almost 3 million vehicles across the model lineup of affiliated Korean auto market in document NHTSA reported that it had received complaint of engine component compartments fire as well as fire involving other components including tail light housing wiring harness and light bulbs later the affiliated Korea Korean auto market acknowledged that the engine block replacement may not have been properly done in all cases by dealers here and a pipe carrying high pressure fuel must fuel may have been damaged misaligned misaligned or improperly tightened during the repairs allow allowing gas to leak and hit hot engine parts causing more fires more recall follows Hyundai Kia and Kia have recalled more than 4.7 million vehicles and they did a product improvement campaign covering another 3.7 million to install software that will alert drivers of possible engine failures. Data collected by the Center for Auto Safety show 31 US fire and engine related recalls from Hyundai and Kia since 2015. The recall involved more than 20 models from the 2006 through 2021 models model year, totaling over 8.4 million vehicles. In some cases, such as nearly 200,000 vehicles recall in September for breaking system electrical shorts. The auto market urged owners to park them outside because fires could start after the vehicle were turned off. There also were recalls for brake fluid leaks, fuel pump cracks, damaged cylinders, 
damaged catalytic converters and problems with fuel igniting prematurely in the cylinders all of which could set engine ablaze oh my goodness well that's this that's the end of the article guys uh man it's sad it's sad it's sad i never knew that they had so much recalls from since 2015 with the hyundai and the and the kia as you know the both of them is basically the same they affiliated if you open the pop the hood you'll see that the engine basically look the same only for the people who knows but the ones who don't knows don't know yeah they're basically affiliated the engine is basically the same when i when i be popping the hood and see the kia and the the hyundai's so you, it's easily easily to tell that they, they are korea korean made vehicles uh so they basically look the same set up the same wow that's crazy it caused a lot of fires and that's a lot of life threatening fuel leaks not fuel leaks well brake fluid leaks fuel pump cracks damaged catalytic converters and problems with fuel igniting prematurely in the the cylinders oh, oh wow that could cause fire now this is very very dangerous guys that's why i try to stay on task with these uh articles because you know the, the more you live the more you learn i said that in my last video which is true and it's it's good to be safe and sorry i'm glad that the uh that they basically came down on them the safety the national highway traffic safety administration uh came down with them with that to make things better and make it more safety for for people to purchase their vehicle and drive their vehicle because you just never know what could happen well tell me guys what you guys think tell me let me know what you guys think you know leave a comment uh like subscribe if you like contents like this i will be bringing more and you know i drop different contents you feel me all all the time on this channel i really appreciate all the love and the support hope you guys enjoy your weekend <sighs> thank you guys for watching don't forget to wash your hands wear your mask and be safe out there take care god bless until I upload another video. Peace. Bye bye. Take care. And I am out of here, guys. Peace. Get into the money. 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 Get into the money.